everybody, welcome to today's video. You ready for part two? If you haven't seen part one already, this is my multiple part series of the needle felted file cord drag that I'm making. If you want to watch it, here's a link to the first one. Then you can just come right back and I also have it in a playlist if you'd like to watch it there. Anyway, my trusty needle felting bag, that is my to-go bag. Let's get started. Block. I took file cord out. I forgot. I've been working on some mushrooms. Oops. And this. It's style poor so far. I know, it doesn't look like much, but that's okay. So here's his back. I made his tail longer, as you can see. And the back, the end of it is now felted down. Today, we're gonna be working on the head, and then we're gonna be putting on the spine that he has. On the side, I've been working on some mushrooms. I will be making a video about it after this goes up, but I have to make nine of them. So I've just been working on that. So you're not missing out on any style poor content. Don't worry. I ordered 30 new needles uh, for about $20. The good quality needles. I only have triangle right now and it's going to be I think 32, 36, 38, 40, and 42 of the triangle and then I'm going to get some star, some reverse, some um, first star, eh, tons of different tons of different needles. I'm very excited for it. Let me look up a picture of Falcor and get his head size. Bring this bad boy back out. Oh, so this says it has an adjustable handle, and I guess if you loosen it here, I didn't know this, I didn't, I read the instructions, but I did, you know, like I did. Anyway, so you can adjust the handle, you do have to unscrew it, but you can adjust it so it's not like painting down, you can kind of point it out more. I might do that, because I feel like that'd be helpful. <laughs> Needles. We're gonna use large, like we did last time. So we're gonna be using the large needle. I am gonna go in today with the hand needle, not the gun, but the hand needle. So I can start doing some of the details because I don't think detailing will be too good with the gun. God, if this is my weakest point. It's the stupid. Oh my God, I almost had it. Yes. Boom. I did it. First, we're gonna start, because if you remember, with the gun, layering is your best friend. So we're gonna do this in layers. So the head without the ears is actually not too much bigger than with the body. So I'm just gonna put it at the end like this and just start. One of them is slightly longer. I'm gonna use that one for my pointer finger. Here we go. having a bit of a problem today. That's strange. When it spins, it's turning sideways and like really slowing down. You know, I'm gonna try with the hand needle, just let this have a little bit of a break. God, it's so much slower. I give up. going with the hand needle now just gotta felt it down a bit more because because of the weird thing going on I'm not gonna push it in too hard okay well, like part one it's been a couple days my stepsister was in town so I kind of took a week off then dogs are out training so it's like quiet just quiet <laughs> it's never quiet in this house what we have done so far flop, flop. and here he is it's the foul core. I need to make the head a bit bigger. <laughs> oh, oh, and I got new needles. I got a lot more needles. Look at that. Ah, I'm so excited. Yes, yeah, so I got tons of new needles, so that's exciting, but with the needle felting gun, I cannot use it. Those are for my hand needles. Okay, so we're gonna make the head bigger than this. So we gotta get the needle felting gun back out, and then we're gonna do the mouth. This is just the base. Knowing me though, I'm gonna knock it over myself. You saw the previous video. I think I got it up to five times. I remember last time, it was having a bit of trouble. Like it would just randomly stop. It's happening again. It's just like slowing down. Huh, that's really weird. I'm gonna go in with a regular needle and try to figure this out later. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Also, these needles came with a handy dandy like 
it tells me what color is which because my smart brain was like, oh, I'll be able to remember the colors now. I had a pack of four with four different colors that were four different needles. Did I memorize what? No. I had to look every single time. Okay, we're gonna get you. It is a triangle 36. And that is really good for starting and joining just to make this thicker. That's what that's gonna be good for. I should do a needle episode. Let me know if you want that. <laughs> It doesn't want me to. <laughs> oh, the head's getting a little, little bit thicker. Little bit by little bit. This is gonna be a long process. But since I'm doing it by hand, I should be able to do more. Because the gun, you have to do in layers. This, by hand, you should do layers, but you don't have to do as thin of layers. So it doesn't look great yet. Here's the image I'm going off of. I think I made the mouth a bit too big. So let's figure it out. Let's see if we can fix it or if I have to chop it off and try again. Cause you know, you could do that. It's okay to need to restart. I'm hoping I don't need to. <laughs> I'm gonna work on making this part a bit bigger cause that's what it needs to do and kind of gradually get there and see if I can fix it that way. If not, I'm gonna have to chop it off and try again. And that's okay. <laughs> So I'm taking the little bump off because I think he needs a little bit more neck. Sometimes taking off wool is not easy. Oh god, I did it! Now he looks silly. Now we're just gonna fall back down the fluff that came up from taking that off. This is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. My camera died, but it's fine. I actually made him look a little bit more like an alligator than I wanted him to. I moved the head, and now I just need to work on here. Then I might do the nose, and then I'm done with the head. <laughs> and then next week, we're gonna start doing more of the fine detail and the legs, because the head is taking much, much longer than I thought it was going to. We got this. It's gonna be fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I know it was a very short video with not much in it, but hey, the head took me a lot longer than I thought it would, and it was a lot more complicated than I thought it'd be, even though I knew that it'd be complicated. Anyway, it was hard. Moral of the story, the head was frustrating. I had to cut it and add more and then cut more. There was a lot that went on. All of it I did have to do by hand because I'm not sure why, but this fun thing is not wanting to work out for me. Who knows? I got the little nose on. It definitely needs some more work on the nose, but it was bothering me and I was like, I need a little something to go off of next time I start back up because it just, I needed something there. Mentally, I needed something there. So yeah, I got the little nose on and you know, the nose turned out a little better than I thought it would, but he's so cute. Next week, we're gonna be working on all of the, not all of them, but a lot of the details in the face. We might slowly start working on the eyes, a lot of like the back so we can get the spine on there. We can do the cheekbones, work on the nose a bit more, the mouth. So we're gonna do a lot of the details next week. Stay tuned for that. If you could like, comment, and subscribe, that would mean a lot to me. You guys really do help me out to keep me motivated to keep filming and needle felting. It means so much to me. Thank you for your comments, those of you that comment, and those of you that don't. Thank you for watching anyway, it means so much. I'll see you all next week for a vlog. There wasn't one last week because my stepsister was in town and I was just spending time with her. Two weeks from that, two weeks from that, two weeks from today, two weeks from, in two weeks. <laughs> I'll see you for the next Needle Fault of Valcor. I'll see you all then. Have a good day, you guys.